Peace and blessings, everyone. Uh, welcome to all my emperors and empresses. I'm just stepping in for a short minute just to tell everyone to stay encouraged. Um, whether it's your freeform Nazi dread um, journey or any other journeys that you may be on, weight loss journeys, um, you know, starting a new business, whether it's, you know, growing older and, and wanting to start new things, um, just be encouraged. Do not allow anyone to take away from you what it is that you truly want to do. Let's talk about uh, Nazi dreadlocks first of all, freeform. I'm a freeformer. Um, my hair doesn't look like everybody else's, nor is it supposed to. So many times people have come to me and said, oh, is that all your hair? Or when are you going to cut it? It's too long. Or, you know, why does it look so frizzy? Or this, that, and the other. Or, you know, do you wash your hair? Whatever. People will try to say things to discourage you. Do not allow that. You have to stay strong and remain on course. Do not. I mean, no matter if you're just starting off with your freeform dress, if you've been doing it for 16 years, 20 years, whatever, you know, do not let people in your head. Do not allow them to change you from being you, from being who you are aspiring to be. You know, anytime that you are trying to do something positive in your life for yourself, there's always going to be opposition. Always. Always going to be someone who has something negative to say. You know, family members, friends, people who don't even know you. Let's not even talk about social media. Because social media, people hiding behind computers saying any and everything. And they standing two feet tall and, and, and can't touch a mouse. But want to tell you about your life and how you should live it. You know what I mean? So do not be discouraged by the things. I see a lot of... Um, negative vibrations in, in certain groups that I've been in. And, you know, we're not we're not supposed to tear people down. We're, we're here to build people up. That's what we're put on this earth, I believe, to do, is to build people up. You know, there is no certain age when you're supposed to start doing anything. Maybe you're 50 years old and you're just now learning how to drive a car. Okay, be encouraged. Drive a car. Don't let anybody say, oh, you waited. Why did you wait so long? Why, you know, why you want to learn how to drive a car now? You've been on the bus all this time. I mean, just anything that's just any, any type of negativity, block that out. You know, if you're trying to start a new business, same thing. People will try to discourage you. A lot of times it's because you have what they're, they, they want to have. You're doing what they want to do and they're afraid to do. You're comfortable with where you're at in your life, and they're not. And they want to bring you down because it makes them feel better. You know, a lot of times it could be jealousy, and it could be because, again, you're doing something that they may be afraid to do, especially this freeform thing. A lot of people are very, very meek and timid when it comes to it because people will say, all types of crazy stuff. And you have to just, just know in your mind that you are unique, you are special, you are beautiful, and whatever it is that you choose to do to your hair, to your body, or whatever, it's up to you. If it's weight loss, you know, if you're trying to lose weight or so, and you change your diet up, you know, people are like, oh, now you think that you're special because you eat a certain kind of way or really you know that's they they say that you um you started eating plant-based but you need some meat in your diet nobody ever died from a little meat or whatever do you don't listen to what other people are trying to feed into your minds you know they are probably trying to be exactly where you at you know where you are at right now they're trying to be there if I would listen to half of the things that people have said to me throughout my life as far as the things that I have chosen to do, if it would have mattered to me at all whatsoever, or if I would have been timid at the, in the least bit, half of my successes would have never been achieved. My thing is I've always had my own mindset 
and whatever I chose to do, I did it. You know, there's very few people that are close to me that I listen to that can make me think a certain kind of way. And those people, some of those people have been in my life for a very long time. You know, it's never too late. You're never too old. And there's nothing wrong with having friends. There's nothing wrong with wanting to start a new life with a new person. Even if you're 50, 55, 60, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't stay in a, in a relationship or so, you know, because of what people will think. You know, some people stay in things because it's, you know, their comfort zone or whatever. Or because what what will people think if I if I choose to just go ahead and leave this person? Now, I know I'm kind of across the board because I'm talking about multiple things, but it's also the same. The thing is, you know, do not let what people say, don't, don't let people speak negative things into your life. Point blank, period. Do not allow that. People may say, why do you wear makeup? You don't, you, you're too old, you, you're too this, or you don't need it, or you, you, you wear dreadlocks and you're natural, but you, but you wear makeup, so you're not natural. Do what you feel, and you're never too old for whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. You know, to my younger brothers and sisters, be encouraged, be encouraged to do everything that you want to do. Go out here, see the world, travel, do everything that you feel. Don't sit back and wait on somebody to hold your hand and, and pacify you and tell you, yes, this is all right. I think that's that's okay. You don't have to ask for everybody's advice. Everybody's advice is not great advice. Some people are, are, are giving you advice based upon, you know, their, their shortcomings. I don't think you should do that. That don't, that don't seem like a good move. You know, but in your mind, you're like, well, I really have, you know, this this interest in art. Yeah, I might not be 20 or 25 or whatever, but I, you know, I'm, I'm 50 and I, I decided I want to I want to learn how to paint. Go paint. Do it. You know, again, back to, you know, the free form. It's not an overnight thing. It's something that's going to be, it's, it's, if this is the lifestyle that you're trying to live, it's going to be an ongoing thing. You're going to forever be evolving. I mean, I think back from when I first started up until now, and I'm reflecting because October will be 16 years for me. And if you look at any of my pictures on Facebook or Instagram, a lot of change, or look at some of my old, older videos. A lot of things have changed. The way I talk has changed. The way I feel has changed. I went from skinny to blowing up to back to, you know, losing weight again. I changed my diet. I, um, I was open to nutrition, you know, changes. You know, and people will want to knock you down for everything that you do again because of their insecurities and, you know, them not wanting to see anybody grow past where they are. You know, it's like like they say the old thing with the, the crabs in the bucket or whatever. You know, they always steadily trying to pull you down when you're, you're trying to rise up. So be free to be you. Don't worry about, oh, every strand has to be in place on your head. Who who said that? Where is that coming from? Maybe you need to change the things that you're watching on television. Maybe you need to turn off the television. Maybe you need to change the, the type of people you move around, you know. And sometimes you just need to be straight up, up front with people and, and say, I really don't care how you feel about this. This is what I choose to do. You know, just be blunt with folks, you know, and then they'll stop saying things to you. But if you just don't say anything, you know, sometimes not saying anything is cool, especially if it's somebody that 
really doesn't matter anyway. But if it's somebody that's like a constant person that's in your life that's that's speaking negativity to you, sometimes you just got to check, check them and say, look, I'm choosing to be a free form, not to dread, and that's it. They don't want to be with you. If they don't want to be around you or, or if they feel embarrassed to be around you or whatever, so be it. Some people on my on my um my live chats have said, Yeah, you know, certain people um I wanna date or the type of women that I wanna date, you know, don't like men who wear Nazi dreads or I say Nazi. They might say locks or dreadlocks or whatever. Um so those are not the type of women that's for you. Move around people that are in a positive vibration. Move around people that will respect you for who you are and for whatever it is that you want to do with your life, that encourage you. If they're not encouraging you, then they're taken away from you. And time is, is of essence. It really is. You don't have that much time to sit back and, and decide. People have shaved their heads off, shaved their whole entire heads off, to satisfy somebody else. Satisfy yourself. At this age that I'm at now, I don't care what anybody has to say about me. If I want to wear polka dot pants and a striped top and some flip flops and wear my hair in a, a pineapple uh, on top of my head, you know what I'm saying? When I say a pineapple, I mean pull all my hair up on top of my head and let it fall free in a pineapple style. Um, I'll do it. Who puts an age limit on what you you can do? Who tells you what you can do? Who, I mean, who makes these decisions? It's all about you. It's, it's always been about you. So if you're today having any type of difficulties and de making decisions, whether it's, you know, should I go free form? Should I um, go get my hair twisted instead, you know, twist it tight and put it in a style because it's neat and people won't look at me differently or strange. Do what you feel. Do what you feel naturally. Don't don't listen to other people when it comes to, you know, decisions about yourself. Unless it's something helpful, unless they're trying to help you. But telling you to change how you something that you inspired to do or inspired to be or do you know that's not cool that's not cool i don't roll like that if you want to be 80 years old which i will definitely say at 80 yes if i want to have my face made up my dreadlocks hitting the ground um and wearing the latest fashions or whatever I, i'm gonna do it I'm going to do it because this is my life. I came here alone and I'm going to leave here alone. So just be encouraged. Start that new business. Start writing out your plans. Start writing out your goals. Point blank, simple. You want to lose weight. Start, you know, doing things better for your body. Start with a, walking a block, two blocks. Go around the block. Next thing you know, you you walk in a mile. It can be done, and it doesn't matter at any age. At any age. If you're 75 years old and your hair starts thinning out on top, but you're still rocking your Nazi dreadlocks, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it was intended to be. Now, if it's if you if your hair is receding or whatever because you've been twisting too tight, now that's your fault. But if it's just naturally leaving because, you know, people in your family has receding hairlines or, or whatever, why shave off? You don't have to shave off all your hair because of that. No. So that's that's it. I just basically, uh, for some reason, I just wanted to come on today and just encourage somebody to, to do what it is that they truly, honestly, really want to do. You know, because I get a lot of questions from people about different things, especially about, you know, being a free form um, uh, empress, you know what I mean? Being, you know, rocking Nazi dreadlocks and stuff. A lot of people ask me all types of questions. And I'm just like, you know, 
I'm really so unbothered by the things that other people feel. I don't have to make you feel comfortable. It's not it's not me. That's that's on you. You move around. Or I'll 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 help you. I'll move away from you. So that's it, you all. Be encouraged, do your thing, start your business, start your Nazi dreadlocks, be patient with anything that you're doing. With anything. Everything takes time. Nothing happens overnight. So have patience with whatever. There's been times when my business has been up, and that's with the hair game when I was before I retired from doing hair, and times when things have been down. I never let it discourage me. I never said, oh, I'm going to stop doing hair because I only had two clients today. Because guess what? The next day I may have, I may have 10 clients. Just keep going in the direction that you feel. Go with what you feel in your gut to do. And don't allow anyone to control your destiny. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love. Love you all. Check out the links in the description. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. Let me know if you are starting something new. You don't have to wait till a Monday or so. Or some people start new things on Sundays. You can start something new in the middle of the week. Or some people say, I'm going to wait till New Year's. And I'm going to go ahead and start losing weight. Start today. I'm going to wait till New Year's. And I'm going to go ahead and start my dread. Start today. Maybe uh, I'll wait till after I, I go through what I'm going through and, and, and then I'll, I, I'll change this, that, or the other. No, start today. You want to stop drinking. Start today. Peace and love.